You're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. Hey, this is Owen. If you're comfortable, leave your first name and state at the sound of the tiny truck backing up. Hey, Owen, this is Daniel from Florida. Um, you know, I really appreciate the work you do. Uh, help me with a lot of stuff. I was just wondering, um, my parents were pretty hardcore Nazarenes. Um, I remember that when it was kind of came time for my senior prom, they wouldn't let me go because they, you know, believe dancing is some kind of sin or something like that. I'm wondering if that's something that is a normal thing for Christian denominations or if that's just something strange that they believe. Thanks. Church of the Nazarene is an interesting group, and, I, and I've talked about them on my channel before. I have a video about the Church of Nazarene. It's been a while since I've researched them. It's been a while since I talked about them. But if I remember correctly, Church of the Nazarene is more of a category than a very specific group. Like you've got Pentecostals are a small group within the Protestant category of Christianity. And Pentecostal covers a number of different denominations. Church of the Nazarene is similar to that. I think there are like two or three different groupings of Church of the Nazarene, so, and they all kind of have different beliefs, but some of those groupings are straight-up full-blown cults. And I talked about that in the video that I did on this group. If I remember correctly, there are a few things that set Church of the Nazarene apart. One of the uh, defining features of the group is the fact that they believe in extra non-canonical books of the Bible. Forever ago, when the Bible was kind of being assembled, I think the Catholic Church was predominantly who was deciding which books go in the Bible and which don't. And they were basically picking some books and tossing out others. Some books almost didn't make the cut. Like the book of Revelation almost didn't make it into the Bible. Imagine what the world would be like now if the book of Revelation hadn't been included in the Bible. It would be a very, very different place. Like the decisions that were made by those people at that exact moment changed society, you know, hundreds or thousands of years later, so much. It's crazy. Church of the Nazarene, to get back to it, they believe in some non-canonical books, some like apocryphal books, if you will. And one of the books, I forget the name of it, I think it's the book of Nikolai. I could be off base there. Somebody can leave a comment on the clip and tell me if I'm wrong on that name. But the book, basically, it's, it's another gospel. And it describes what happened to Jesus after he left, after he died. And it, it describes this event where Jesus went to hell and had to take the keys to the kingdom back from Satan. And after that three days, he succeeded in taking them back and defeating Satan. And it, it's just like this really bizarre story. That's one way in which Church of the Nazarene is very different from other Christian denominations. They are also very, very extreme in some cases. Like you said, your family, I think, doesn't believe in dancing. I know Seth Andrews, uh, the Thinking Atheist podcast, he gave me the, my favorite phrase of all time, probably, that came out of evangelical Christianity. His family used to say, dancing is a vertical expression of a horizontal desire. I absolutely love it. That pretty much sums up evangelical Christianity, doesn't it? I think it's amazing. I think it's an amazing saying, and it's so sad in so many ways. There are a lot of denominations out there, especially evangelical denominations, that are anti-dancing. So you're not alone in that. Um, I think it's completely outrageous, completely ridiculous, that that's even a discussion.